राम और नायडू जी थैंक यू ऑनरेबल स्पीकर सर फॉर गिविंग मी दर्चुनिटी टू स्पीक ऑन दिस इंपॉर्टेंट बिल सर द ओल्ड एक्ट विच हैज बीन एनाटेड वॉज इन नाइनटीन फिफ्टी फाइव and the circumstance at that time was that there was scarcity in agricultural production but right now if you see sir the agricultural scenario has changed the circumstances are different and now we have an integrated market with surplus production but the only problem we are still facing is that the farmer is not being able to benefit from whatever situation is today and much of it has been implied uh, due to the uh, 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 act that was there earlier which restricted on the agricultural investments that have been coming into this sector sir and now the intention is to improve the investment scenario so that the farmers have a choice in who to trade with and further benefit from this trading sir and i would like to uh, before i support this bill i have some concerns that i would like to put in forward to the central government sir one of them which many of them have also mentioned is the extraordinary circumstances and there is a reason that this has to be properly defined sir and i would like to uh, do it with an example also recently we had a locust attack in gujarat punjab rajasthan and during this uh, this time if you look at that attack it doesn't come under war famine flood or uh, any other natural calamity so how does these kind of situations be addressed through this bill is something the central government should answer sir and also there is an issue about cooperative federalism agriculture is uh, supposed to be on the state list and this is something which is related to agriculture and let us say there is a scarcity of cereals in andhra sir one minute i'll finish let us say there is a scarcity of cereals in andhra pradesh and not in punjab then how will they discuss this scenario with the states and ensure that they also have the right in deciding uh, the uh, price of the uh, 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 of whatever uh, the regulation of uh, the food stocks also sir and holders and firms these are because of the nature of their process it has to be defined in the original act which is not there so there is an opportunity to at least define the uh, terms holders and firms in this act which has not been done sir and also like uh, all of them have been mentioning uh, regarding how the private players can take this as an advantage though it is not an intention because of the loophole there can be a misuse of this law so that the rich players can uh, uh, do lot of hoarding sir so the central government should ensure that that situation doesn't arise and also the fci has a good mechanism of maintaining stock uh, stock uh, uh, stock management system it is a computerized system but how will they ensure this is also present in the private players how will they know how much stock is there with each and uh, each uh, company or each uh, player sir uh, present in this that uh, needs to be clarified and the other than this sir the installed capacity which determines the limit of stock sir th 30 seconds i am finishing the installed capacity which uh, which uh, determines the limit of stock is it be going to be based on the annual uh, installed capacity or the monthly installed capacity or the daily installed capacity that is something which uh, needs to be clarified sir with Shri these Mati concerns i would like to ek, ek uh, support ek this bill sir thank you